So you want to learn how to animate text just like this inside of After Effects for your next music video without any paid plugins? Well, I'm about to break down just that inside of this tutorial. This effect is actually pretty simple and shouldn't take longer than a couple minutes to do. So follow along and let's get right into it. Hey, real quick before we get into it, I just want to let you guys know that I am Lurking Visuals and I run my own editing store where we sell editing presets and assets for music video editors just like you. So if you're a music video editor, make sure to check the first link in the description, but let's get right into it. So I'm in After Effects right now and I got the same music video that I used last time, but this time I'll be using this part. So yeah, I think all you guys have heard this song on TikTok. So what I'll be doing is putting the text behind the subject. So the first step will be to duplicate this layer. Let's name the top layer Roto, because I'll be rotoscoping out that layer and the bottom layer to background just so I can keep track of them and make it a little bit more simple for this tutorial. Then I'll double click on the roto layer and grab this roto brush tool and I'll start masking out my subject. I won't be going through the rotoscoping too much, it's pretty simple. Just go around with the roto brush tool and get something clean. So when you went through everything frame by frame and made sure that your masking looks good, make sure to press this freeze button right here and freeze your masking just to lock it in. And after I've done that, if I hide this background layer, you can see that my masking it's a little rough around the edges here it doesn't look too good so a feather would really help so to add that on i'll be adding on a refined soft matte effect and i would recommend that you add this on to all of your rotoscope layers and i'll drag down the additional edge radius to somewhere around four and drag up the feather a little bit and now it will look a little bit cleaner when we add the text in so i'll just start off by adding a text layer and add the first text and then I'll be sizing it up a lot and I'll make it pretty big on the Y axis like this and I'll change my text color to this pinkish color something like this and the outline too and I just added the outline to 8 pixels just so I can have the text become a little bit fatter because if I remove the outline the text isn't as thick so that's why I have it on and I'll actually use this font Playfair Display and right now I won't add any effects onto this text layer I'll do all of that at the end and just match the lyrics with the song and make sure to have all of your text layers behind your subject and then once again just mess with the text put it like I'll make sure that this text layer fits the whole frame so now I got my text layers in place and it looks good but I'll be messing a little bit with the scale for these layers so as you can tell I got this town lyrics on the screen right now so I'll create a keyframe for the scale I'll keep this keyframe here then I'll go like one frame before the end and I'll press this link button right here and then just drag out the text make it a little bit wider and I'll keep it like that and I'll also use these keyframes and turn on motion blur and I'll do the same for this text layer but instead I'll be doing it on the Y axis this time instead of the X axis so I'll just press Y on my keyboard move this anchor point up to the middle right here and then Put it to 100% and then just mess with the scale and also a cool thing that you can do if you like to I see a lot of people do this with their text layers you cut it up in a few different parts like this like every two frames you cut it and for these layers I use a different font every time so I just go up pick one of these top ones that I that I like to use like this one Sarah one and, and this one and just keep going like that and you'll get a cool effect so I'll just keep going pick a pick a few different fonts so I'll play through now only thing I don't like is the fact that the masking is a little bit choppy right here I'll go through and see if I can fix it if not I'll just keep it like that just for the sake of this tutorial when you're happy with what you got make sure to grab the bottom text layer then go up to the top and hold shift and press the top one and then you've selected all your text layers now just right click and pre-compose and move all attributes into the new composition and now for this one I'll be adding on some cool effects I'll start off with a deep glow if you don't have deep glow you could use like sapphire glow or the stock glow if you don't have any plugins and I'll just mess with the effects a little bit drag up the radius drag down the exposure just like nothing special just the usual something like this and then I'll add on a drop shadow just to make it a little bit more realistic and I'll drag up the shadow blur and then drag down the shadow opacity to like 0.3 it's nothing too much just a subtle effect to make it look a little bit better if I hide it it looks like this and before I can turn it up a little bit actually 
something like this and then I'll add on a flicker and I'll use the sapphire one if you don't have the sapphire plugin you could use this strobe light effect this one also works as a flicker but you have to mess with the settings a little bit and tweak it but the flicker I'll drag up to like 0 0.4 I'll just keep it like this now actually I'll turn down the flicker a little bit let's just do 0 0.2 and then I'll add on a Gaussian blur just to give it like that look of the text being behind the subject make it look a little bit more realistic you don't have to drag this up a lot let's just do like five just keep it under 10 and you should be good and then just to give this text a little bit extra movement you can either add a cc force motion blur which is just an extra motion blur and you can drag up the motion blur samples to max which is 255 but this one really messes up my PC, so I won't be using that one. Instead, I'll be using the RSMB one, which is a plugin, but you can go ahead and use the other one that I showed before. And I'll be bumping this up, let's do 0.3, and turn up the motion sensitivity to like 100. So now when I've added on this RSMB, the text looks like this. And especially for these parts, when it's changing and flickering like this, looks a lot better with this motion blur it gives a lot more movement and just looks a little bit more smooth so yeah i really like this effect and i'll just add some finishing touches which will be a tiny shake so i'll add on a new adjustment layer and to add this shake i'll actually use my ultimate shake pack i see a lot of you guys buying it which means a lot but i'll add on the subtle shake and i'll use the subtle shake too and since I don't want anything extra, I'll just mess with the effects a little bit. Just make it a little bit more subtle. So yeah, I'll just copy this adjustment layer. Just paste it every time the text comes in. And if you guys struggle with shakes or just want to have 25 more shakes in your work, like everything from trippy shakes to subtle ones to wiggles, I got everything inside of this pack. So if you guys are interested in that, I'll leave the link down below. And it's actually pretty easy to use. You just drag and drop all of these shakes onto an adjustment layer. But yeah, this is what it looks like right now. And it pretty much looks like I've just copied this shake done. So I'll just mess with the settings, tweak the settings for the few different frames. And it really looks better now. I'm a huge fan of this. Now one last effect that I'll be adding on is something to the background. I just feel like the background is missing some finishing touches. So I'll just add on this hotspot effect from Sapphire. Just as a finishing touch, you don't have to do this. And in the beginning right here, I'll put the threshold to zero, keyframe it, and then head all the way to the end. And I won't even turn it up a lot. I'll just turn it up to like 0.3. That way you can come in throughout the scene and we'll just have something subtle in the background. And now if I play all of this, this is what I got. So yeah, I'm a huge fan of this. I really like this one. And if you guys enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And as always... Check out the packs that I got linked in the description if you're trying to level up your workflow or just edit your music videos much faster. And I've also been asked a lot how to get more clients as a music video editor and I've launched a free guide on my website. If you sign up with your email and you'll get a free step-by-step -step guide on how to get more clients. But yeah, that's pretty much it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.